Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to leave work at work. Our jobs can be extremely stressful and the last thing that I want to do is relive the stressful experience in the comfort of my home. So one thing that I made an absolute rule was that I do not talk about work at home. And that is like the biggest tip that I can give you once you leave work, leave everything there, like that's it. So since my husband is a physician, sometimes I will talk about interesting things with him, like interesting diagnosis or interesting situations, but I've made it a rule that I never ever talk about any bad experiences at work because there are a lot of them. And again, I don't want to relive any bad experiences. <laughs> Now, in recent years, I've actually come across something that's kind of interesting. It was pretty unexpected, but um, now text messaging is becoming extremely popular and text messaging with directors and all the other nurses is also very popular. So one thing that I've noticed is that my work is starting to follow me home a little bit, which I'm not a big fan of. And I find that I do have to take measures so that it doesn't affect me. Just the other day, I had a conversation via text message with the director, and I know this director personally. She's a really sweet person, and when you talk to her like face to face, it's a different like conversation. She's a very different person. But then, for some reason, in text messages, it's like she just doesn't know how to communicate like nicely, or she leaves out like different words, and I have to think about what she's asking me. And it requires a little bit of like mental thought. And you know, I'm at home and I don't want to be thinking about this. So one thing that I do is I just delay the response. I don't think that she needs to get a response right away for something that's not an emergency. And so I just won't text her back right away. Or one time I text her back like an hour later saying that I was driving, which I was driving. <laughs> so something like that. Um, you know, I want to, I, I want to get people in the habit of not sending sending text messages to me with problems because if I'm not in the hospital, there's not really much that I can do if there's an issue. So that's one thing that I've been trying to um, manage as best as I can because that's like a new situation. So the other thing is like, I think it's really important in life to like carp compartmentalize everything, you know? So we have our relationship. My husband and I have our relationship, but our relationship stays with us. And I don't share that with everybody. Maybe I'll share some like positive experiences with you guys but I don't share our whole relationship with the world and you know the same goes for work you know work is a relationship and there are certain things that happen in that department and it doesn't need to be shared with everybody although I do share a lot with you guys <laughs> but again that's kind of like related towards work because I want you guys to feel more comfortable on the job I want you to know that you're normal that the things that happen through work can be really weird so you know that's it don't uh, don't take things like you know too personally because they happen to everybody <laughs> So the main reason why I wanted to leave work at work was because I saw a lot of nurses that were leaving like really upset and they would also come back upset and they would tell me how they were talking to their husband and now their husband hates their job and their husband hates their bosses and their husband like wants them to quit and find a new place. What I realized was that, you know, no matter what, I can only share like my part of the story. And as smart as I think I am, I'm not going to have all the pieces of the puzzle. So if I share my part of the story to my husband, of course, it's going to be incredibly biased, making me look amazingly perfect. And it can cause a lot of tension because he could get really upset at my boss and, you know, want me to quit the job. And, you know, at that point, I might have resolved things, yet he still has the anger because he only knows that one side of the story. So just to make things easier down the road, transitions easier, like everything that I face really has to come up from me. He can't really help me with it. So there's really no point in sharing it with him. So I'd rather share like different moments with him and, you know, enjoy the time that we have together. So I hope this video encourages you to leave your work at work, compartmentalize the things that need to be in their compartments. And that's it. You'll be, I think, a lot happier if you do that. All right, guys, I really hope you like this message for Motivation Monday. I can't wait to see you next Monday.
I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you re ignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.